All righty. So for tonight's meeting, we're meeting. I mean, I guess it's a meeting class, really. Sorry, I'm on that teacher brain right now. Um, we are going to be doing emotions and feelings. And I have a list of words and they're all over the place. Some of them are like actual feelings and then some of them are more like, I guess, personalities, like traits, like smart, nice, kind, those kinds of things. Um, when we, I do this every time. There we go. <laughs> My chair is always just a little off, just enough to drive me crazy. All right. Um, then after we do feelings and emotions, I have um, talking about how you would do like pronouns, like I, me, and those kind of just, just a little, that one's more of a discussion, but we'll get to that. And then the last one I have is descriptors. Um, that one will be kind of depending on how much time um, we have left. We'll start it, but we may not go in as much depending on the others. So let's get started. The, oh, don't go all the way. So the first one we're gonna do is the sign for feelings. And the sign for feelings is going to be your middle finger and you're gonna go feel right around, yeah, feel. And it's like you're flicking it up, yeah, feel. Mm -hmm. This is feeling, um, I feel sad. Now, if you're saying I feel like if I'm talking about like, let's say I'm talking about a dog, I feel soft, I feel fur. You would do a different sign for that. You'd be like touching like this, like kind of like I feel. But um, if you're talking about how you are actually feeling like a more of a, um, like upset, one of those you would do feeling, feel. Then the next one is, cause we're always gonna start this way is happy. So the sign for happy is happy. You're just kind of patting your, uh, your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Happy. Then we have sad. So sad has about two ways to do it. Um, one of them is more kind of one we see, I think often, but then the other one's the actual like sign for it. So the sign for sad is sad, sad. And you always wanna let your shoulders come with you. Like I almost say, make it look like you are really just, I'm sad. Mm -hmm. The other form of sad is cry. And you make the motion of teardrops coming down your face. This is also for crying, but this also is can be told for sad. So like, I'm sad, I'm crying, sad. Then we have mad. So mad has about two or three different ways to sign them. Um, and honestly, like, I think they're kind of cool the way they have them. It's almost like different forms. So the original one for the first one, mad, is mad, mad. Mad, mm -hmm. and you keep your face. You have to have your face showing mad because you're not going. I'm mad. I'm mad, unless you're trying to be sarcastic. But I would not suggest mad. Ooh, mad. <clears throat> the next one is it's the sign. Basically, it's for boiling. Like I'm so mad, I'm boiling, and it's boiling, boiling. Yeah, and it's like you having like a something over a pot of fire that I'm just boiling. And then the last one for mad is like blowing up. Like I am just exploding. I am so angry. And so what you do is you're gonna make that motion for soda, but you're now gonna do soda and then you're gonna wiggle your fingers all the way up and then slam it back down. Like I am so mad. Mm-hmm. That one's always a fun one. I don't know. This one was like one of my favorites to learn when we were learning feeling. I just be like, I am so, and then I start laughing at myself because I thought it was funny, which is always even more interesting because then people are like, but you just told me you're mad. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I just like the sign. So, all right. Now the next one is scared. So scared, I think we did with haunted house and you go scared, scared, mm -hmm. scared. You want to make sure those shoulders kind of, like you almost think about if someone scares you, you go, ah, you know, scared, scared. Mm -hmm. Then we have tired. So tired is gonna have your hands kind of in these bent puppet hand positions, go above your armpits. So not in them, but above. And you go tired, 
tired. Mm -hmm. And I really want to show with those shoulders, like I am just tired. I am so tired. Then we have bored. I know that's not really a feeling, but I mean, it kind of kind of is kind of not. And so the sign for bored is bored, bored. It's like you have your finger and you just kind of, you have it next to your nose and bored, bored, or I'm bored, bored. Sometimes they'll pull away. Sometimes it's just bored. I don't know. This one always makes me think of picking your nose. And I don't know why that, I think that actually might could be a reason. Like, cause you know, when kids are bored, they just start picking, you know, their nose. Maybe that's why it's bored, boring. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. That's always what I see. I have had a few kids say something like they'll say, this is boring. Or, and I'm like, all right, all right. I got it. They're not, they're not quiet about their opinions, which is good, but look, okay. The next one is upset. And so you're gonna start like this and you're gonna go upset. I'm upset, upset, upset. Okay, sorry, give me a second. So I got text, um, upset, upset. Mm -hmm. And you make sure you don't go like full down to like your stomach. You do it just up here, up top, upset. I'm upset, upset. Mm -hmm. The next one is embarrassed. Embarrassed is going to be embarrassed. Embarrassed. Mm -hmm. And it's like you're having your hands going up, almost kind of like the red. You know, when you get embarrassed, your face gets really red. It's like the red is coming up. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Let's stop there and go back because I want to make sure you guys know them or that you guys, it's not just throw, throw, throw. Here you go. So, Let's go all the way back. We had feeling, feeling, or feel. Mm -hmm. Then we had happy, happy, mm -hmm. happy. We had sad, sad, mm -hmm. sad, or sad. I have one student at class and she doesn't actually cry, but she doesn't whenever I won't let her do something she wants. She's like, yeah, and I'm like, no, she goes. And she just does one little single teardrop. And it's the funniest thing. I try not to laugh because I know she's, but then she laughs because she knows she's being funny and she knows that that just makes me cackle. And so she'll just sit there and go. And just, so dramatic, so dramatic. And I love it. <laughs> Then we had mad, so our three ways, mad, 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 or mad, like boiling. I'm just so angry. And then our outburst, like I am just exploding. Mm -hmm. Then we have scared, scared. Scared. If this iPad, let me move my water. Sorry, I have my phone resting on my iPad, and every time I move my iPad, to, like my phone to swipe up to the next word, my iPad's like, I can't handle this. This is too much weight. So I have to put some behind it, my water bottle. And we had tired, tired, tired. Mm -hmm. Then we had bored, bored, bored bored mm -hmm. then we have upset 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 mm -hmm. and then embarrassed 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 mm -hmm. now let's move on yeah I was about to start on something but I was like we'll do that next week that'll be in the next class I was ready to do a whole little explanation I was like I think it'll do better next week all right so then our next word is calm and it's calm, calm. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of like calm. Like it's like everything is quieting down. It's calm, calm. Mm -hmm. Then we have excited. Sorry, I realized that one was not on my list. There we go. We have excited. Excited is gonna be these two middle fingers. And you're gonna go excited. And you're gonna like almost like happy, but now it's just this excited. 
And this one, you can go, I mean, really fast. If you are really excited, the showing of excitement is that. You're like, so excited. Kids will do that a lot when it gets close to the holidays and off like in, for Halloween. All they kept saying the Thursday before was, and they would sit here and they would do this. And I'm like, you're going to hurt your arm doing that so much. So excited. Then we have chill, like I'm calm, I'm cool. Um, not really like cool, cool, like, oh, that person's cool, but like chill, like I'm calm, I'm good. And that's chill, chill. Mm -hmm. I'm chill, I'm mellow, I'm cool, that, mm -hmm. chill. Then we have frustrated. So frustrated is going to be these two Bs and you're gonna go frustrated. Like you kind of have a back of your hands going to your chin, frustrated. Frustrated, mm hmm frustrated. Mm hmm Then we have nosy. I think this is one of my favorites, one I'm most oftenly using, and it's nosy, nosy, mm hmm nosy. I always have to, my kids are always nosy. They, I think that just comes with like when they're young like that, and with deaf kids, a lot of times they're just not shy to ask you a lot of questions. I mean, hearing kids are as well, but like deaf kids are even worse they see you talking to anyone, they'll stop and they'll watch your conversation or they'll stop and they'll immediately be like, well, who are you? And I'm like, you're being nosy. Wait a minute. <laughs> so I'm always like nosy, nosy. The next one we have is serious and it's serious, serious. It's like you're touching the corner and you kind of twist it a little. Seriously, seriously. This also can be, um, some people will use this like, seriously, seriously. I'm one of those people. I love how I say some people, I do that. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> then we have funny. Funny is going to be the threes, this three, and you're going to go funny. 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 Mm -hmm. And that can be talking about a person is funny or that joke is funny or that was funny. That was funny. Watching that was funny. Then we have silly. So silly is going to be in these two Y's and I'm going to turn sideways just so you can see how it's positioned. They're going to be almost like in front of each other. So you don't ever hit them together. They're in front of each other. And you go silly, 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 mm -hmm. silly or silly. So why you shake it in front of your nose? Yep. Silly. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's. Yeah, let's go back through those and then we'll go on to the next ones. So we ended with embarrassed. Yes, we ended with embarrassed. So now we're all back to calm, 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 mm -hmm. excited, excited. Mm -hmm. Then we had chill or I'm cool, I'm mellow, chill. Hmm. Then we have frustrated, frustrated. And it's again, like the back of your hands is kind of coming in front of you. Frustrated, frustrated. Mm -hmm. Then we had nosy, nosy, nosy. That one's such an easy one. I think it, it just, it works. I love when things like that work out. <laughs> then serious. Serious. I can't make a serious face. I'm sorry. I've never been able to make a serious face. If someone tells me to be serious, like have a serious face, like don't smile. My instincts is immediately it's the widest smile you can. I can't even put it down. And like, so I'm trying to be like showing like I'm serious, but I can't. <laughs> I laugh at it. <laughs> so then we have funny, funny, funny. Then we have silly. Silly or silly, silly. And you want to make sure your thumb is kind of like in front of your nose. It shows like the connection, like with funny, silly, mm -hmm. silly. I can turn sideways, yeah, silly. Then the next, now we're on to some new ones. So the next one I have is ignore. And ignore is going to be a four. And you're going to start with your pointer on your nose and you're going to go ignore. Ignore, ignore, mm-hmm, ignore. 
this one's always a fun one. I have to tell kids, oh, ignore. They're just trying to bother you because you know kids. They get so offended by everything and I get it, but ignore them. And what they do, I love what they do is they'll look at the other kid that's making like, because that one kid might be making faces just to make faces, not to bother them. They're just having fun. And this one kid will be like, oh, this is and he's making faces and I'll tell him ignore it. And what do they do? They'll look at the other kid and they go, I ignore you. And I'm like, that's not what you do. <laughs> that, and then that kid's like, what? what? And they, oh, it, they can make a big argument. I'm like, ignoring it means you just look away. But they'll just like, I ignore you. I ignore you. And I'm like, it's so much fun trying to explain that to them. I'm like, guys, that's not ignoring. But um, anyways, the next one is annoy slash bother. This is both. And it's going to be annoy. It's like a B, it's like, I tend to make this one a B, but, and then you're going to have the end tap, like, okay. So your dominant hands, like where your pinky is, is going to go to the top of your other hand between the thumb and you just tap it, annoy mm -hmm, or bother. Mm -hmm. This is also like interrupt. I mean, not like, this is also for interrupt. So like, if you're talking about, I need interrupt, um, that as well can be used, interrupt. The next one is proud. So the sign for proud is you're going to have a thumb. Thumbs up, I mean. <laughs> I guess I should have said. You're going to have it going down and starting a little like a below, below, a, ugh, sorry, I cannot talk tonight. Above your belly button. And you're going to go proud. Proud. Almost like a zipper. Like if you have a zipper, think like that. Proud. Proud. Mm -hmm. Proud. The next one is curious. So curious is going to be like our F, but not fully closed. And you're going to put it at your chin. I mean, your chin. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys, your neck. And you're going to go curious. Curious. Just a little. I'm curious. Um, that one's for like all the types of, I mean, I guess curious you use in multiple, not multiple ways. Like, I'm curious about this. Oh, she's curious. That's her thing. The next one is confused, and it's going to be confused. Like you have open hands, confused. Like you're going in circles. Yeah, confused. Almost look like you're almost having a ball in your hand, and you're just rolling it. Confused. Mm -hmm. Confused. Confused. And the next one is mean. So mean is going to start slight open hands again kind of one near, kind of your face, one below. And then you're going to close them into fists to like a thumbs up. So mean, 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 mm -hmm. mean, mean, mm -hmm. mean. That one's a little more of a challenging one to grasp because it's so, you have that movement with it, but mean. All right, then the next one is, um. Where'd I go? Rude. So rude is going to be a Y. Your thumb is going to be on the opposite corner of your mouth. So the other side, and you go across rude, 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 rude. Mm -hmm. Then we have nice. So nice, excuse me, it's going to be nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. This also goes with like nice to meet you, which that is a sentence I think we will do. I don't think we've done that one. That one should be in our next week. So let me look real quick, make sure and have it there. I think I do. If not, I will add it. Um, but like nice to meet you. Um, so that can be for nice, um, like that, like it's nice to meet you. Um, she's very nice. That's what I'm saying. Nice. This is also can be used for the sign for, is also the sign for clean. Like it's very clean here, like the counter, which mine is not, but it is clean. <laughs> um, for cleanup, it's a slightly different. It's clean, like multiple times, clean. Mm -hmm. But the one is just clean, like it's nice. Then the next one is smart. So the sign for smart is going to be that middle finger next to your forehead and you go smart, smart. And you just kind of flick it forward, smart, mm -hmm. smart, 
smart. The next one is awkward. So awkward is going to be our threes. And you go awkward, awkward. It's like threes. And then you go awkward. Yep, up and down. Mm -hmm. Awkward, awkward. <clears throat> then the next one, we have two more. And then um, we'll go back through this and then we'll start the pronouns. The next one is strange. Strange. It's a C. And you go strange, strange, mm -hmm. strange. Now, this is what you want to use that if you're talking about a stranger, like, oh, I saw a stranger. Um, most of the time when you're talking about like teach, teacher, which, oh, we've not done this, but that's next week. Um, those a lot of times will have that verb sign and then the person. Stranger would not be stranger because that would only be if you're talking about someone who's a strange person, like that's strange. It's a strange person. That's when you would use strange person. But um, if you're talking about, oh, I don't know, they're a stranger to me. You wouldn't use stranger for that. Then the last one is cool. Like she's cool. That's cool. Um, and it's going to be like you have, it's almost like you're doing a little pinch and you're going to go cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. Let's go back to ignore, yeah, ignore, go through those again. I'll open it up for any um, other emotion signs or any of those that you can think of. And then we'll go on to describing like how you would pronounce. So we have our ignore, 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 mm-hmm are annoy slash bother, annoy, bother. Mm -hmm. Then we had our proud, 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 like the zip. I would think of like a zipper, like you're pulling up your zipper, proud. Then we had curious, curious, curious. Mm -hmm. Then we have confused confused and a lot of times you with confused you have your eyebrows again doing that kind of like that's confusing I'm confused sort of thing mm -hmm. then we have mean 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 mm -hmm. then we have rude 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 mm -hmm. then we have nice Nice slash clean. Nice. Then we have smart. 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 Mm -hmm. Smart. Awkward. Awkward. Mm -hmm. Then strange. 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 Mm -hmm. Strange. And then cool, cool, cool. And that can be used for also, like, I mean, that one is one you can say, like, I do this sometimes my kids are telling me a story about something that's completely off subject. I'll go, cool. Okay, now back on to class. I'll just go, cool. <laughs> so, um, cool. It can also be saying, well, she's cool. She's a cool person. So it can be also either way. Sometimes things like that can be different depending on, what it's used for. And that's why I always am like, it's used for both, both the um, descriptions. No, not really definitions. I don't know. Um, I can't think of the word right now, but basically that does change in um, ASL a lot of the times. I think, I, I don't know if we've talked about this. My example is always run, the, sign, the word run. Um, you want to use the same sign that's running, like this is the sign for run. You want to use that for I'm running late for the office. I have a run in my stocking. I am running. Um, I'm running for office. Um, I have a runny nose. You want to use run because this is talking about the emotion of actual running. Like if you said I went out running, then yes. Um, but for the others, there are different ones. And so those are um, multiple meaning words. That's the word. There we go. And so sometimes 
words can be like that. And that's why I always say, oh, like nice. You can use that for saying she is nice. He like, this is nice. That's nice work. That's nice paper. Oh, this is nice looking like the house is nice because sometimes it can change with different words. Um, yes, so there is a sign for busy. And so the sign for busy is the same sign as um, like business, which I think we've done. It's been a, we're at, we always get, I get to this point when we get near like an end of a class, I'm like, what have we done again? Which, which ones have we done? Always happens, but it's busy, busy. You have like two Bs, your dominant B is on top, running back and forth, busy. Mm -hmm. So like if they were like saying, is she busy now? Well, she's busy, she's busy, busy. Mm -hmm. Surprised, oh, that's a good one. I don't know why I didn't have that one. Let me put that real quick. Surprised, oh, there we go. Okay, surprised is gonna be, again, like those little pinches and you're gonna go surprised, surprised, surprised. Yep, mm-hmm. It is also for wake up, um, like I wake up or surprise. So if a lot of times when I'll just like I'm waking up, I wake up or I'll wake up. Um, time will be like I wake up at seven, whatever, but I'm more calm. But it's talking about like a surprise or like a surprise. I'll be like surprised. Like I like I make a face almost like I've just been surprised myself. Um, any other words you guys can think of? Like that can be, I guess I can give you all the sign for personality since some of those are personality traits. So the sign for personality is going to be a P, personality, personality. Mm -hmm. You're almost kind of making like a little circle, personality, personality, mm -hmm. personality. <clears throat> um, and the reason the P personality is here is because this is also like character, character, make like a solid motion character. So right here's like almost where you're gonna have your, um, yeah, personality and character. I thought, sorry, I thought I heard the cat purring. I was like, where are you? That sounds really close. No, I think it's just something else sounded like that for a moment. I was like, what? But <clears throat> anyway. Wait, Jillian is character. Is that like, and would that be like a Dickens character or is that someone's character? Do you Both. see those? Mm -hmm. I do. I see what you mean. I always think like I'm at that point now where every word I think about, I'm like, how many different ways do we do we use that word? And so character, like if you're talking about a character in a play, you'd be like character. Um, if you were talking about well, my character, like my like that, like her characters all all over the place, like character, you would do the same one character. Mm -hmm. All righty. Any other emotion, feeling, signs? Any um. Any other character traits? I'm trying to think. It's a perfect time for me to have a water break. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. So for disappointed, um, disappointed is also the same sign that you use for miss you, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny to me. I don't know why that's always made me laugh, but so disappointed is disappointed disappointed and it's like you just kind of put your finger and you point there and make that face like I'm disappointed um yeah and I think the difference with like I miss you like is like I missed you like I missed you um like your face and then which I try to be really careful with how I do that with my kids like if I'm telling them I miss them I do not want them to think I'm disappointed in them <laughs> so I try to be like I missed you I was so excited you're here like I start describing it but um, if I'm talking about like, I'm disappointed, I'll be like, I'm disappointed. I don't do that one often because I know that will get them the most. I'm like, that one's a saved one for it. I really want them to know that this is not okay. I'm like, I'm disappointed in you. But um, anyways, yeah, so that is disappointed. Um, any other character traits you can think of? I'm trying to think of some um, other ones. Um, I guess friendly. Friendly is one type that in before I forget it <clears throat> so friendly is going to be open hands and you go friendly 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 like you wiggle your fingers like they're coming towards your face friendly 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 mm -hmm. here sorry so you start kind of out by your shoulders 
and you're going to wiggle them towards your face. And then I just go, and then you go back to that position. Back, go back, and then you wiggle again. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Mm -hmm. For helpful, um, that one I see more of you, like that one you almost kind of air quote change the sentence. Um, so like I just do help. So help. Um, if I'm saying she's very helpful or she's helpful, I say she can help. She's good at helping. I don't always just say helpful or something like that. I just do she's good at helping or she's very help. Like she can help a lot. Right. Oh, excuse me. Let me put, I'm putting those in my list right now so I don't forget them next time, next class. Um, any other words that you guys can think of? Um, oh, I have one. I have one. I have two that just came to my mind <laughs> as I was typing in helpful. I was trying to think of what else could go with there. Loyal and lazy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so loyal is going to be loyal. 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 And you do it one time. You hit it once. Loyal. Mm -hmm. Lazy is lazy. You tap it. Yeah. That's why I was like, loyal <laughs> like very uh, like trying to almost like enunciate it is just one hit we're lazy lazy mm -hmm. lazy mm -hmm. all righty let's move on to pronouns and that because that's not that won't be a long one that's almost having to be a little more of a discussion explanation than it is a um, full-on here's all the list of different signs as much so the cool thing with ASL about pronouns is that you don't actually have to use a, a specific sign for your pronouns when you're talking about them. They are, you almost use, basically use context clues to um, show that show that way. So it's not like it's not there, it's just a different approach. For example, <clears throat> if I'm talking about me, like I'm going to the store, I'm not going to say I, like I, because technically it, there's, I'm trying not to go too deep into this conversation because I will go so far off that it, it's crazy. ASL is not the only form of a sign language. Um, there are a couple of different ones. One is called signing exact English or C. And that one is where you would use your I because like they have signs like this, like I am going to the store. But in ASL, that's not how you would sign it. <clears throat> um, even then, I still, I'm not always the most perfect with my ASL structure because I still, I grew up with English. It's hard to make that transition fully. Um, so, because the most proper way of saying ASL, um, I'm going to the store is store me go. But um, I tend to go, I go, like me go store. <clears throat> But so that means that if you're talking about you, like you're saying me or I, you're just going to point to your chest, me, I. <clears throat> um, then for mine or my, like this is my dog, mine, you're going to go my, I. Mm -hmm. If you are talking to a person and you are talking to them, you, you, you point to them, you. Mm hmm if you're talking about something that's theirs, that's yours. I guess your book, you go yours, yours. Mm -hmm. If you are talking about <clears throat> um, like them, they, and let's just for now have it two people, you would go they, like you have the two finger and you go they, like you're almost going back and forth between them, they. Um, if you're talking about it being like theirs, like that, that's their child. That's their um, car. I'm trying to think of examples. You would go theirs, theirs. And the important thing with pronouns um, when you're using like where those kinds of signs um, <clears throat> is direction is very important. So you're not gonna just go, like if the two people you're talking to are like right here and I'm saying it's, and I'm trying to say it's theirs, but I go it's theirs. That's not going to make sense to them because that's talking about the people over here. So if you're talking about these two, you have to go theirs. It's theirs, if that makes sense. It's um, directional. 
and that's how it helps. Um, okay, then for he and she and they, um, <clears throat> with the singular, a lot of times it's just more that pointing. Um, if you're having to decide, like, you know, is she, that's who you're talking about, she, you point to that person if they're close by. If you're farther away, that's when you would do the describing of a person to help that, the person you're talking to know who you're exactly talking about. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. For saying we, like we're going to the store. What you do is almost that same motion you did for the they, but now you do we, we. Like you include yourself, we. Mm -hmm. We are going. Um, if you're saying it's ours, you would say it's, well, ours, ours. A lot of times you can use this if it's just two of us. If you're talking about it's all of ours, like our class, I would go ours. Start at your one shoulder and come all the way to the other, ours. Um, that's also for us, you do us, like we, all of us, all of us, us, we. If it's a whole group, the whole, everybody involved. Um, then for... See, I'm trying to think of the other ones that are that can be that way. We, his, hers, ours. Um, if you're talking about his and hers, like it's her backpack, hers, you just do the same motion of this towards that person. So the only way that that makes the difference between yours and his, his and hers, is that if you're talking to the person, like I'm saying, like, for example, let's say I'm talking to Miss Katie, let's say your computer. If I'm saying, um, let's say I'm talking about my dog, his, I'm looking at you, I'm talking to you, but his dog or whatever. <clears throat> so that's how you can make that different um, explanation. Um, any other pronouns you can think of? I'm trying to think of, because we did we, we, ours, yours, um, mine, mine my mine i think that's all of them so that's how you would describe pronouns you don't really i title them pronouns just because that's like i'm stuck in the english way but um you know like i said you don't use a lot of the pronouns like we use them in english they're more kind of in the sentence itself or in the action you're doing <clears throat> all right so now Let's go on to describing. We'll just kind of do a little basic, a um, little bit touch the surface just because we have 20 minutes and I don't want to like throw too much and um, go so far down. I'm like, well, now you don't know how to do this. So I'm going to do the basics. So the first one we're going to do is if you're talking about and like height. So what you do um, for... Sorry, give me a second. I just got an email. It was distracting. It was a work email and I was like, what is this? But we're good. Um, so for height, you're going to do height. Um, and what you do with it is if you're talking about someone who's really tall, you're going to go tall. Like you're going to go all the way like they're tall. Um, I tend to do this like first thing, almost like those basketball players. I'm like, they're giant, but I keep going. Um, if you're talking about like someone... Like if I'm talking about my dad, I usually go, he's tall, tall, because he's taller than me, but he's not up here like a giant, so tall. Um, if I'm talking about someone shorter, like they're shorter than me, I'll go short, short. Um, the best way to do it is always kind of like where their height is. So like, oh, my sister's taller than me. I was gonna use my sibling, my family as an example, but I'm the shortest member of, their fam of my family. I'll say my students. I have one student who's this tall. So I'd be like, she's right here. She comes to my chin or she comes right here. I kind of will make that angle of where they are, like where their actual height is. Take that guess. <clears throat> and that's why you would talk about height. For um, size, when you're talking about a person, it's in ASL, the term calling someone fat is not always as insulting as it is in English. You know, we like to have a couple of different ways to say it. Oh, she's a little chunky. She's a little fluffy. You know, those sort of things. Um, in ASL, you tend to just kind of be a little bit more honest. So if you're talking about someone who's chunky, you'd go, she's 
big and it's kind of the bent L and you go big, big, big. Um, if you're saying, cause like, that's how you kind of, you're like, she's about this big, 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 like she's huge. Um, if you're talking about skinny um, slash small, skinny, there's one sign that's used like for super thin. I use it about my sister all the time. You have your two pinkies touch and you go, and it's always almost like purse your lips. Like they're, oh, they're so skinny. Ooh, I use it on my sister and she gets so mad. She's like stick thin, not in an unhealthy way. She's just never gained any fat. It's not fair, but it's okay. I'm not, not upset about it. It's fine. But she, um, she's always been skinny. So I always look at her and I'm like, you're so skinny, so skinny. Um, the other one is small and that's small. So big is coming out. Mm -hmm. And that's also, you can use that for, um, a variety of things like if you're talking about all oh, the cats small the cats huge um the house is big the house is small <clears throat> those are just the, the basic signs for big and small and a lot of times if you're talking about someone's height you know we'll say well she's a small little thing you really wouldn't say if she's if she's chunky you know like a small small um, little person who's chunky. You wouldn't say she's small. You would say she's short and then say if she's larger or what. So um, <clears throat> sometimes we use the word small to describe height, but that can get confusing in ASL. So you keep, it's always, I always suggest to keep the height like she's short, she's this big, or she's this big, short. <clears throat> okay, oh, my list went all over. Where were we? Do, 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 do. Okay, well, I really lost it. Sorry, I like when I swiped to like move that mess that email away, it like moved my entire list. So I lost it for a second. Okay, give me a minute. Um, all right. The next one is we're gonna describe is hair. Because I keep touching mine. So the nice thing, so the sign for hair itself is hair. Hair. And you don't pull and yank on it hurt yourself, you just go hair. Um, if you are talking about the um, the length of hair, what you're going to do is you always will start with going hair and then here, like hairs here, hairs here, you know, or like if someone like me who has really long hair, hair, like you just kind of keep going like all the way down. <clears throat> so that one's another one that you kind of use what your hair goes to. So like their hair kind of ends here, it's like it ends here, um, that kind of motion. If you are talking about the kind of hair, like it's straight, wavy, or curly, what you'll do is for straight, is you're gonna go straight, straight, mm -hmm. straight. If it's curly, or no, wavy, let's do wavy. Wavy is gonna be wavy, wavy. You make like a little wave motions, so yeah, wavy. And then curly is going to be a C and you go curly, curly, curly. <clears throat> Bald, probably one of my favorite ones because I am a child. I will admit it. I am silly, just like my students. And it's going to be your middle finger. And you're going to start at the top of your forehead of your head and you just go in a circle. Bald. And it's like it's so shiny and bald that the light reflects on it. Bald. <laughs> so we got our little ball. <clears throat> Um, if you're getting a haircut, it's cut, 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 mm -hmm, like motion cut. Mm -hmm. So like if you're saying they they have a new haircut, haircut, cut. Color is going to be again with our colors, that video um, of our brown, our red, our orange. Blonde, you wouldn't necessarily use yellow. Blonde is going to be a Y and you go blonde, blonde. You kind of just move it with the hair, blonde, blonde. Mm -hmm. um, gray is, I don't think that one was the one we did, but it's going to have open fingers and you're going to go do this every time. My, ki my kids have to correct me because there's machine, doesn't matter, gray. And I always get them kind of jumbled easily sometimes, gray. 
Great. Oh, I'm doing it again. Sorry. I'll check back on that one again and I'll come back with that because that one it just gets me every time because I know this is machine. Um, and so it just, yeah. Uh, let's see. Going to see what other descriptions are there. Um, eyes. Let me put that on my list. I don't think I have that one. Makeup. That's the next one we'll do. Makeup. Eyes. Um, glasses. Hat. Um, earrings. Jewelry. There we go. Jewelry. Okay. So the next one we're going to do is makeup. Sign for makeup itself. And you don't have to go very specific with, um, if you're just talking about the girl who has all the makeup on or something like that, you just say the girl with the makeup or the girl who has no makeup on. And so it's makeup, makeup. Mm -hmm. It's like you have your, almost like you're holding your little pads and you're putting on the makeup, makeup. Um, mascara does have its one, it's mascara. Make the motion of like, yeah, mascara. Mm -hmm. Then we have glasses. And so glasses are going to be, they start with an L. You start here and you pull them back. Glasses, 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 mm -hmm. glasses. <clears throat> then we have hat, hat or hat, hat or hat. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about um, a certain kind of hat, I would fingerspell like a beanie, um, a baseball cap is usually cap, like hat. Like you make that motion of like you're holding it. Um, but if you're talking about like a specific, like let's say you know a room full of hats, really would suggest not going with, oh yeah, the girl with the hat. Cause they're gonna look at you and go, oh yeah, yeah, everyone. They will, they will tease you about that. Um, I would find another thing that sticks them out. Like if they have glasses on, <laughs> but you would, I would be like beanie. I would finger spell beanie. Um, the next one is jewelry. So what you're going to do for jewelry is you just make the motion wherever it is. So like earrings, they have their nose pierced, lip, whatever, up here, earrings. Um, for bracelet, it's bracelet, bracelet, mm -hmm. bracelet. Then we have necklace and that's necklace, necklace, mm -hmm. necklace. Um, watch is going to be that C. And you go watch, watch. Um, this one, you also, if you wear a watch, like I wear a watch every day. <laughs> That's just like, I can't not have it. So a lot of times I'll just tap on my watch. Like I'll be like, no, she has, she has a watch on hers. Um, but you can also do watch with that C, watch like a clock. Um, let's see. All right. So let's move. We have nine minutes. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of clothes and then we'll stop there. <laughs> so the sign for shirt, any type of shirt is shirt. This also can be signed for volunteer. Like I volunteer, do you volunteer? Um, and that would be separate when, excuse me, you know, if they're asking, okay, well, we need someone to volunteer for the game to help work tickets for a game, you know, they're not talking about a shirt for the game, for the tickets. You need someone to volunteer. Not a great example, but you see what I mean. <laughs> All right, the next one is going to be dress and that's dress. And you start here and you just go all the way down. Like I usually tend to, you can't really see it. So I'm gonna kind of go like this. I make this sweep motion at the end, dress, dress. Mm -hmm. Then we have jacket. So jacket is jacket, jacket or coat, jacket. Mm -hmm. um, this one, the one you gotta watch out for is backpack. Backpack is very similar to jacket and it's backpack, backpack. And it's just the motion of almost like holding the straps. Jacket's gonna be that full body like you're putting yourself into the jacket, jacket, backpack. Check it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, if you're talking about the length of a shirt, like saying it's a long sleeve or a short sleeve, what you'll do is you go long and like to here, like you kind of stop right there. 
or I'll be like shirt ends here, like mine's three quarters right now. So I tap where it would end. Um, if it's short, I'd be like shirt, shirt, it's right here. Like you kind of basically, you are gonna show where it ends. Um, think of it, if it's tank top, you make this kind of, again, small C and you got tank, tank. So like shirt, it's a tank top or uh, yeah, tank. Um, <clears throat> For pants, you would do, God, this one's always a hard, because it's like, since I sit, it's hard to see. Let's see. So I'm gonna make the motion. Obviously this would be lower, but you're gonna go pants. Pants, like the motion of like, you have pants, you're putting them on. Um, most of the time for things like leggings uh, or work pants, those sort of things, I will fingerspell leggings. Um, the other type of pants I know of, I know of that, um, I've seen sign for is like blue jeans. And what you do is you tap, you pat your hand, you tap a B and then you tap a J. So B, J, make that motion on your pants, B, J, blue jeans. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> for skirt, you'll do the same motion. Sorry, trying to, is you're going to. I still am not tall enough. Okay, I knew I told you I was short. Anyways, pretend this is where my this is where my like skirt ends, and your legs are like my knees. You make that motion of like a skirt, skirt. Does that make sense? Sorry, that's the only thing about Zoom. It's just not great to describe things that are below. <clears throat> then we have shoes. So just plain old shoes. The sign, just kind of the general shoes, is going to be two S's. And you go shoes, shoes. Mm -hmm. And you're just having them tap, yeah, shoes. Then the next one is socks. And you're going to go socks, socks. Mm -hmm. Now, fun fact, you go up like this, and this is stars. <laughs> so we have socks and stars. So if you have stars on your socks, that's fun sentence to say. <laughs> um, then the sign for boots. It's gonna be the same thing, but with bees, boots, mm -hmm. boots. Um, flip flops or like flip flops, like flip flops. You have your one pointer finger that comes into like, my pointer finger goes between my pointer and its middle, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop. Um, let's see any others. Sandals, I tend to just finger spell. I'll be like shoes, sandals. Or the type, like the brand. Um, for example, like I'm a huge Tevas person. I love all my Tevas. I have three pairs now. And so I will go shoes Tevas. And um, that's just an understood. All of us teachers wear them. So we're always like, oh yeah, that's nice. Um, so that's what I usually do if I'm talking about a specific type of shoe that I really wanted to be clear. It's not like just a tennis shoe or a plain old shoe. Like, no, these are Tevas. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm trying to think of some other things for the body, the body, the clothes. Um, for stripes, polka dots, and plaid. How you would do that? <clears throat> if it's stripes, what you're going to do is for if you're saying it's stripes, like it goes up and down, you're going to go stripes. Like you have the four, and you're going to like kind of almost yeah, stripes. Mm -hmm. If it goes across horizontal, you'll go stripes or stripes. Either way on this one, stripes. Polka dots is going to be two Fs and you go polka dots. Mm -hmm. For plaid, you're going to go stripe here and then stripe down. Stripes or plaid, sorry, plaid. Um, if you're talking about your shirt has a picture on it. Well, I'll give this on for picture and then I'll let you all choose, like let you have questions because I have, we have three more minutes. So the sign for picture is picture. It's like a C next to your face and then you put it on top of your hand, picture. So what I would do is I would say my shirt has like, I'd be like making the motion of like it's a square, picture, place, picture, place. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So we have three minutes. 
are there any other signs that you guys can um think of describing wise i want to give you guys this chance also get me some water <clears throat> Belt and scarf, good. Sorry, excuse me. So <clears throat> I'm not used to talking this much. <laughs> so scarf's going to be, it's like scarf, scarf. Like you make that motion of it's your neck, like it's wrapped around. I'll double check on that one because now I'm questioning it. I'm like, scarf, scarf. Um, belt is going to be like, Ah, chair. Like pretend my belt's right here. It's belt, belt, belt. Mm -hmm. Any others that you guys can think of? I'm trying to think. Let's see. Um. Ouch. Sorry. I have. I'm notorious for popping my fingers. <laughs> I'm really bad about it. I need to stop. But if I pop one, it's like my instincts. Like, oh, I must get all. Um, let's see. Let's see, what else I forget? Um, oh, if you're talking about anybody's like eye color or um stuff like that, you just point to so like eyes, nose, lips, their chin. Um, and the reason they would be different than like saying nosy or bored is because you're talking about what their nose it's like it's huge or their nose is small which i mean we're not we don't always talk like that because that's always the mean but um you know if it's like the only thing you can really be like the nose like it's a little small or it's tiny that sort of thing um all righty well it's only a minute difference but if you guys are good we will end here um i think next week is that our last class yeah yeah and um that one we will be doing almost kind of I call this one the most like ran not random but it's like a hodgepodge of things because it's gonna have the different types of jobs just kind of the basic types of jobs then um it'll have some good signs that are helpful and some uh things too so that one's kind of just a good here's a bunch of other ones that could be helpful as well but they're not a big enough title grouping um so i recommend any words that you want to know or you're like i really need to see this i use this often whichever um keep that and then next week we can go through them all so all righty well i hope you guys have an awesome rest of y'all's week and i will see you guys next tuesday Bye.